I couldn't see anything. I had my camera set up. I didn't look at it directly or even through glasses. I had my camera set up and I videoed it. And it was nothing but uh, clouds at one point when the eclipse was actually happening. It got a little darker, but not like nighttime. Uh, there really wasn't much to it at all. It's kind of disappointing. So, uh, I know they had several parties around town in the parks and stuff, and uh, I was thinking if those people traveled here <laughs> to see that, I know they were disappointed. I would have been very disappointed if I'd have traveled. Uh, the sun was in and out from behind the clouds, but actually when the eclipse was happening, uh, big dark clouds covered the sun, and uh, you know, it got darker, like there was going to be a thunderstorm or something. But not like nighttime, like in the direct path of it. I've seen several videos, you know, it got dark and, you know, all the solar lights come on and all that. Uh, wasn't any of that where I lived in East Texas. Now, an hour north of me, they were in total darkness. So... Uh, I guess I was just a little bit too far uh, southeast to be in the path. But, uh, I mean, I know it's, you know, what, once every 40 years or something like that. But uh, I, I just couldn't see the all the hoopla everybody was making over it. Um, it's just one of the things God planned and I mean and it happened you know but um, I mean the people that got out and, and enjoyed it I'm glad they enjoyed it but I've seen eclipses more clearly than that and you know actually dark uh, there was several back when my son was young and we made the viewing box like in a cereal box or something where he could see it <coughs> and uh, I saw more in those eclipses than I did yesterday so we're driving to a food pantry and I just thought I would chat a little bit Nuggets whining he wants the window down uh, we're in between the thunderstorms. They're saying we're supposed to get golf ball size hell sometime later this evening or in the night. I hope not, but um, I'm glad we got a break in the rain so I could go to the food pantry because uh, if it was coming a storm right now, raining too bad, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go to it. Nugget, stop whining. But anyway, hopefully the weather's good where you're at today. And um, hopefully everybody's being blessed with good health. My six-month checkup is next Thursday. That's less than a week away, y'all. So we'll find out if this dieting will help this cholesterol or if it's going to be hereditary. And if it... She said if it was hereditary, wasn't nothing going to help it. So, I told her the Lord could help it. So, we're going to see. So, we're going to see what happens. If y'all heard something, I'm getting a text message coming in. My neighbor down the road, his uh, son lives in a house and he's in Colorado. The dad and mom lives in Colorado and they're texting me about something so but I'll check it when I get I'm almost to my destination and I'll check it when I get out here but um, I'm not gonna call names but I do have a lot of people that need prayer requests for a lot and lot of sickness uh, mental health issues uh, anxiety uh, panic attacks uh, anything the devil that can throw against you is throwing it against them right now so the Lord knows who they are so y'all lift them up in prayer uh, I thank y'all for praying for me and the pups 
appreciate that a lot. Prayer is good. I do believe in prayer. And if God don't answer prayer, it don't mean he failed you. It means it wasn't his will. So just like anything else, it's all in your attitude and the way you look at it. And the devil is going to make sure that you look at it negatively and not positively. So let's try to be positive in everything. And I know it's hard. These hard things come against me also. Just like it does everyone at some point in our life. But we're almost to our destination. And the speed limit is 55. So I guess I better hit my brakes and slow down a little bit. Or we'll be doing a GoFundMe to pay for a speeding ticket. LOL. Y'all, I've never done a GoFundMe for me in my life. I have for other people for things. But not for my, not for myself. Uh, I get on that web page sometime and just look. And it is amazing. Amazing. What people have GoFundMe's for. And they set them up their self. And what's really amazing is that people give them money. I don't believe all that's a really a need. I think it's a want. I think it's an easy way for people to get money. And I'm not saying everybody, because I know some of it's a need. But if y'all go on there and just read some of those titles of what those people are um, asking for money for, and then I think, what kind of person would even, give, would even give to that? But anyway, we're here. I'm gonna get in here and get out and get back home before the uh, bad storm hits, I hope. And uh, there ain't a lot of people here like usual, I guess because of the bad weather. A lot of people, you know, won't get out when it's gonna be bad weather, but I checked and uh, the radar showed I should be able to get out here and get back home. I hope nobody pulls in this parking space before I get around here. Yay. Okay. Y'all be blessed. Know your love. Jesus loves you more. I'll be making a video of the separate one of the food pantry. And we'll see y'all in the next video.